just recorded another video, which will probably be the first one that goes up. I don't know. I might put this one up first. You don't really know. You're not going to know which... You're not going to know what's what. That's okay. These are my, my secrets, boys. I won't let you take my secrets from me. Gonna give up my secrets away. If you guys know that song, then you're old like me. Uh, leave a comment if you remember that song from the early 2000s. So we're gonna be talking about a, a team, a team that I have found recently, and it's been really, really good. Uh, and that's gonna be what I consider to be one of the best teams for the beta raid. And we obviously have the beta raid that just came back around a few days ago. And I have been testing out this team and I just wanna say like, they're like really good. And I expected them to be really good. So don't get me wrong, I expected them to be really good. Um, but I'm just, again, just even so more impressed with them. So I want to show you guys this is what I consider like, you know, obviously like there's different lanes, right? So you have like the skill lanes, the mystic lanes, the bio lanes, and I think that's it. But like the bio has mystic with it and then skill has tech with it. I think that was my understanding. I could be totally wrong. I don't know why I don't just look at it, but I don't want to, but we'll look at it in a second. But what I found the hardest lanes for me that I found were the, uh, the mystic bio ones because bio is kind of hard because you can use defenders but most of the like most of the nodes are set to counter defenders and defenders just aren't that good anymore so i think for me kind of like what i'm thinking i want to find like oh is there a good mystic team that i could use or maybe a combination of mystic bio that i could use and for a little while i had an old video that was like a spider verse captain america weird like combo that seemed to work pretty well but i think it's just because i had big red stars on captain america and i had a strong carnage so what I'm going to show you today is just a regular old team, a team that works, a team that all of us should have access to, and just like, I want to show you because they blew me away with how good they were. Oh no, we just lost in war. Here's the real question, Fox Next. When you give me an update, could you uh, not make this still be here? Because this has been stuck on my screen and I have nothing to collect! I'm sorry. I must, I need to contain myself here. The nodes that I was talking about come in here. Oh, these boys don't even know how to, they don't even know how to beat this node. Y'all are cute. Just use Alteron. So like all these ones, like, okay, so like these ones, these are like mystic, mystic, whatever, whatever, whatever. They're kind of like a pain in the butt, dude. They're just terrible. I found out a really cool team that works on them because they're all, again, mystic bio. Some of them are like, have mutants. Like I think that one has mutants. No, this one, these ones have mutants on them and, um, but these are like Mystic Bio, Mystic Bio, Mystic Bio, Mystic Bio, and it doesn't say it up here, but that's just what I know because I've been doing this lane for like a long time, actually, now that I think about it, like probably like six months. And basically, I found a team, like I had trouble, like sometimes we would get like right here and we could not go any further, you know, maybe right here, and it just seemed like we couldn't go any further. And as you can see, this is the first time uh, we've done this raid since it restarted. And I mean, we've got, I mean, essentially like we should finish this. I don't know if anyone's going to, but we should finish this and it's going to be a hundred percent on our first try for my team, at least. And so I want to show you this team that I think a lot of people probably used and has really helped out. Oh no, what a surprise, Supernatural, the team that I've been talking to everybody about for so long all this time and just they're so amazing. Ah! I have obviously been talking about these dudes like crazy, especially on Twitch and Discord and some videos, but these guys are astounding in raids. Man, they are astounding in raids. And I think that you guys are just... I don't know, man. They boggled my mind in the raid today. Like, I cleared those nodes that I cleared easy. It was no problem with this team. Like, really, it was no problem. And these guys aren't particularly strong. Of course, Mordo is. But, like, tier 11, tier 10, tier 11, tier 11, freaking three star, four star. You know, so, like, nothing extremely impressive about this team except for Mordo, but he's essentially the healer. But man, I tell you what, they just went on through, man. They just, they just didn't have a problem. They generate so much energy. They generate so much healing and they just can nothing like you can't block them off. Like they have buff removal. And the only hard thing for them is that they can't really remove debuffs off of themselves, but it just didn't seem like it mattered. Like, oh no, you put six bleeds on me. Now I'm dead. Guess what? Revived. Ha <laughs> ha. I just tell you what, guys, this they really blew away my expectations for all of these nodes. And I think you guys need to use them. So I wanted to show you what T4s I have. 
and just kind of like how they worked and why I thought they were important. So with Mordo, this one was actually very important because it always stuns and the stun was great. So you could come in and I have typically opened up with this attack because it just makes it so, you know, the heal block, you know, whatever. But opening up with this to always stun and then coming right behind with Scarlet Witch and using Chaos Wave, you are able to just, you can stun somebody for two whole turns. That is huge. And then if other people got blinded, which they do, you're then extending that for two turns. And so just right off the bat, you're just getting it done. And this team is fast. This team moves really, really quick. So one of the big things with that is, is that whenever a negative effect is applied to an enemy, you change the speed bar of, you know, Ghost Rider and Supernatural Allies by 3%. So if you just applied 10 debuffs, you gain 30% turn meter for everyone on your team. And so that's crazy, right? So you open up with this one. Boom. All right. So you stun somebody and then you blind three targets and then you slow two targets. So that would be obviously ideal. So that would be six debuffs right off the bat. Okay. Well, say that doesn't happen. Say you get four. Okay. That's 12% turn meter to everybody. So even if the enemy team's faster, you're already getting that right off the bat, an additional 12% turn meter. Okay. So then you follow it up with this one. Boom, because the, I have the T4s on this ability, it puts defense down on everybody. Okay, well, guess what? In raid nodes, oftentimes it's a lot more than five enemies. So if you slam this down and they have, I don't know, seven, eight, nine enemies on the board, okay, guess what? You just gained another 3% turn meter for every single one that got defense down, which is all of them, just by the way. So then say you did that, okay, so say it was, uh, I don't know, nine of them. Let's say nine of them. You just gained an additional 27% turn meter to your whole team. And then say you come in, Ghost Rider, guess what? He uses this ability. He puts two bleeds on three characters. So that means that's six more debuffs. Guess what? Boom, you got turn meter. Now again, he goes first. So that's why you can get like jump out ahead there because you can get six. Guess what? Can't be blocked and can't miss. So you pretty much always nine times out of 10 get all of these bleeds on. That is just, boo, like that's how you get going. It's crazy. So once they get going, so you do that, you do this, you do that. And then of course the enemy team's already just debuffed out of their mind before they even get to go. And then you're getting to go, you know, you're getting to go twice. And then it's like, okay, well, it's like, say you have a team that gets a lot of nice positive effects. Oh, boom, guess what? You got your boy, Dr. Strange here. Not only is he going to be healing, he's going to be gaining deflect. Boom, what a crazy thing. Even with this ability, you got 30% chance to change a turn meter bar by 30%? What? Like the, the amount of like turn meter just manipulation and control that this team has is really crazy. And I tell you what guys, they just, they sailed through an Elsa who a lot of people were saying, well, like, maybe she's not that good. Maybe she's not that special. You could put in somebody else. I know a lot of people were saying to put in Hella. I don't think so, boys, this girl, at tier 11, three red stars, four gold stars. Do she pumps out the damage? I cannot imagine her. If she was at seven gold stars, seven red stars, might do more damage than any character in the entire game. Straight up. She is nuts with it. And uh, it's not this ability. This ability actually sucks. I don't think that ability is good at all. But this ability... This blasts through a lot. I mean, I've seen this do 50,000 damage before between the two attacks, so 25 and like 25-ish. For a three red star, four star character? I mean, imagine it's possible that like if you had her at higher red stars and all just like tiered up, geared up, starred up, I mean, it's possible you could hit for 100,000 on one of these shots. This ability kind of boggles my mind too because you gain offense up and then you blast all these people and you get an extra 15% damage per supernatural ally. So it's 15, 30... 45, 60% damage. And then it's just, it hits people, it hits them hard. And guess what? Oh, if it misses, oh no. Then you blast people here. This is just crazy to me. It's really crazy to me just how this team works. They just, I, I am telling you, it boggled my mind to just see them in action. And I wanted to show you guys, but I also wanted to just show you like how far ahead, like, or how far they were able to put me through in this raid, which is like what I just showed you guys. And it just really, to me, just the evidence 
of going through all of these really hard nodes after they've probably been tuned a bit as Fox Next always does and getting through these nodes that I've struggled with for since this raid came out a year ago. I got through them just with no problem at all. So I wanted you guys to see this. You got to use Supernatural, guys. I, In my opinion, they're the best team that has been added to the game in a long time because well, they just are. So if you're not using them, I really have to recommend to you, you got to divert some resources to them. They have blown me away how strong they are. It's just, it's amazing. If you guys want to see more testing of them, then yeah, like let's do it on streams and stuff like that. You guys let me know if you guys want to see some stuff on streams, leave a comment with that. I mean, we got to do it. I'm playing with these teams every day and they're fun. That's the other thing. It's fun too. So it's like... Oh yes, this team is not only fun, they're also extremely powerful. Make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel for more helpful raid content like this. I tell you what, this is like, I always do stuff like this. When I find a good team, I wanna share it with you guys because I want you to know, I wanna help people. I want people to be able to do better. Please make sure, subscribe, so you don't miss anything and leave a like on this video, that really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, see ya. i